the day of my birthday, the only thing I wanted was to become a bartender. So within one year, I had the great privilege to work with three fantastic bartenders. First one did the classics, did them quite well. Uh, and then the second bartender was a very trendy, crafty bartender, incorporating new styles of bartending that I didn't even know that existed. Our third bartender had a little bit more of a traditional style, but was extremely appealing to the hotel guests. It's been a great level of achievement to debut my own cocktails, put my creations on a list and be proud of it. You can see the passion behind it because they're mine. Uh, for example, there's a cocktail that's a nice spin-off of a classic. I'm calling it the Como Rebbe. Uh, traditionally, this cocktail incorporates a little bit of scotch, lemon, honey, ginger. We're substituting the scotch and lemon juice for a yuzu citrus and a Japanese whiskey. Our signature cocktail, it's a barrel-aged Manhattan. And we actually blend the, uh, the whole thing in a sherry cask for about eight weeks. We use a Buffalo Trace bourbon, and then we add Antica Caparno and some Angostura bitters. And we'll uh, break it down with about 24 bottles of Buffalo, 12 bottles of Antica, and about 16 ounces of Angostura bitters. And by barrel aging the whole thing in the sherry cask, it smoothens, rounds it out to its full potential. When you pour it from barrel to the bottle, from bottle to the glass, it's one of the first things you're going to pick up is that sherry note. At the end of the day, it's really hard to compete with the, the one-of-a-kind view. But with me creating my own cocktails behind that bar, I, I, I like to think that I make my own little wow factor here at the Edge Steakhouse.